In the previous video, we created this dashboard skeleton with all the elements that we would like to display. So basically, in this video, what I'm going to do is to use Shatsi and tabs to create these different tabs that we are going to switch on. Okay, if I go to the official documentation here of Shatsi and view, we can see on tabs that I got this very nice component where I can switch from directly from the tabs. So what I'm going to do here is just to copy paste this npx Shatsi and install. I'm going just to type enter, it's going to add the tabs. So I'm going to say yes, I'm going to add the following packages. And here when it's done, I'm able to use the Shatsi and tabs. So I'm going to type yarn and yarn dev, there we go. And after that, I can see down here that I got an example of tabs that I can push. Okay, so what I would like to do probably here is just to copy paste this and come back to my main page. So I'm going to come back to the beginning and I'm going to type here pages here and here we are. So remember, it's supposed to be here. We are supposed to have here um, the, the tabs that we want to display. So I'm going just to hide this part for now. I'm going to type here. Uh, there we go. We're going to hide this. And I'm going to copy paste the tabs that I got here from uh, the official documentation. So I can remove the part with the templates. And there we go. We got our tabs here. On the top, I need to import everything from the tabs. And look at this, we have our system of tabs that is just here. Okay, what I need to do here is to have a list. And in this list, I would like to have different um, uh, tabs. So remember, we talked about it on the previous course. The first one we would like to have today. And then we would like to have this week. And then we would like to have this month and then we would like to have this year, for example. So when I come back here, we can see that we've got all these elements, but they are all selected because I'm supposed here to have a default value. So I can put today and here I can put week and here I can put months and here I can put year. So depending on the value that you are going to select into your trigger, you are going to show an element or uh, another one. Okay, so we are here and when I will actually select a tab, I would like to display another component, okay? So I'm going to create just here a, a basic content tab. So here I'm going to have, for instance, today, and then I'm going to have um, uh, this week. So here the week, so I'm going to type this week. And then down here, I'm going to have this month. So here I'm going to type months and it's going to be this month. And then after that, I'm going to have what here this year. Okay. This is really basic. This is a really basic uh, um, explanation that I'm giving you now to make you understand that actually the tabs on ChatCN works this way. You got the tabs list with the triggers that are related to the tab content. After that, you are free to loop through them and to show your elements or, um, depending on the list, for example. Here is a quick example of what I'm talking about. Let's say that you have a list and then in this list you have here a model with a title and a component. And when we go down, we can see here that on our tabs, we are looping through the tabs trigger and then we are looping through the tabs content. So here we can see that we got a component which is basically a string. And here is just a string that is displayed. It's not a real component. We would have to create a component for each of them. So as you can see, when I'm switching, I add everything. Now let's create these components. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to go to components and I'm going to create a new folder called tabs. And the first component that I'm going to create is going to be today.view. Let's say that I'm going to type vcomp and I will say Hello today. So if I go here and I type tabs today, I'm supposed to have my tabs today component. But if I want to get this tabs today component, I cannot put it this way. What I need to use is to use resolve component and I need to put the name of the component. So here it's going to be in the folder tabs because I'm on next and we resolve every component depending on the root. So basically here is going to be tabs and here it's going to be 
today. If I save that and I come back, what I need to do is to update. And we can see suddenly that we got our hello today component, which is here. Now what I need to do, it's exactly the same for every component. However, we need to know what this hello today will look like. And remember, we would like to do a chart. So basically, this resolve component is made for custom component. A custom component that would be relative to today. But if I'm doing a chart component, what if here there will be only one chart that will change for today, week, months, and year? I don't need to make several components. I could have one component called chart. Let's create this new component in the next lesson.